In this video, we're going to be talking about appearance panel and graphic style panel. And simply using these panels can change the appearance of that square into a different appearance like these squares in here. So let's start by selecting our square and then we will be opening our appearance panel. And that panel will give us the opportunity to add more than a stroke and even more than a fill to the same shape that we're selecting. So as you can see, we have our stroke in here and our fill. And we can be changing our strokes color also from here and same for fill as well we can be clicking our color and choosing to change our colors from here or even shift clicking that arrow will be giving us rgb values to change or even cmyk according to your documents mode so anyway let's add another stroke to that shape from here if we've got our shape selected and we're gonna be seeing path in here indicating that our shape is selected we're gonna be clicking on that button in here adding new stroke and it will be adding a stroke that is similar to our existing stroke in here that we can be changing our color dark one like this and even we can make that one wider to make it even more visible to you guys maybe like that and you will see that it's beneath our orange stroke in here maybe you can set that one to even 10 to make it even more clear and we can be adding another stroke also from here or even duplicate that one by clicking on that button in here and it will be duplicated giving us the same stroke as well and we can set that one to be white and make it even wider maybe 16 like that and even we can be editing our stroke settings from here we'll be opening more options for our stroke to control maybe we can set that one to be dashed line and even we can be changing the alignment of our stroke to make it on center instead of inside as it was and so on so i'm gonna leave it that way and we can rearrange the order of our strokes to make that dashed white line on top of our blue line in here we can be selecting anywhere maybe that one then start dragging that one to make it on top like that you start seeing that blue line indicating it will be on top and here you go and remember when you start seeing these underlined dashed lines this means that what you're seeing in here is a button same like here opacity and transform and shape if you click on any of these you will be seeing more options so for instance now you can be changing the opacity of your object and also you can be changing our blending mode from here to choose maybe darken multiply and so on and you can be making masks also from here we're gonna be covering some of these settings in a while but let's go back to our appearance menu and now we're gonna be adding another fill to our square remember we've got our square selected already and it's very important to select your square or your element that you're gonna be editing in appearance panel and now i'm gonna be clicking on that new fill add new fill to our square and that fill color got on top of all other elements we're gonna be changing that color and we're gonna be choosing that gradient for instance and then we're gonna be dragging that one to be only on top of our fill color in here and we can be changing that gradients opacity from here as well clicking on opacity remember that one means a button and we can be changing our blending mode from here to make this one to maybe saturation and that will be converting our gradient color into a transparent color that is blending with our background color which is violet in original and we can be dropping our gradients opacity from here to make this one maybe 50% or 70 and so on and don't worry about these settings guys we're gonna be covering masks later and even we can be adding a new effect from here to any of our strokes or fills so simply we're gonna be selecting our fill color in here and we're gonna be adding a new effect and then you will be seeing illustrator effects for that part in here and photoshop effects for that part in here and we're gonna be talking in detail also later about effects so don't worry about them but for instance now we've got maybe stylize and we can be choosing scribble for instance and a scribble effect will be giving us a style like this one that you've got a hand drawn sketch you can be choosing from some templates from here so for instance you can be choosing sketch and also you can be modifying these presets maybe from here to change your angle like that or even a stroke width to make it higher or less 
maybe make this one eight or even up to two only and so on and also you can be choosing from other presets maybe sharp or more so i'm gonna be choosing sketch for now and then press ok and we can be hiding any fill or stroke anytime we would like maybe you can be hiding that fill our gradient one or that one or get it back from here same like layers and even we can be adding effects to our strokes so i'm gonna be choosing that one in here and we can be choosing an effect going to stylize and we will be choosing round corners and then we can be opening our preview option in here and we can be seeing our corners are getting more rounded we can be clicking shift and increasing that one to 20 or even 30 and you will be seeing that our stroke is more rounded like that and then we can be pressing ok having the fx sign in here you can be hiding that one anytime from here or get it back or even double click in here to edit effect you can make that one to maybe 40 or 50 and these effects are called life effects as you can see you can be changing them instantly like that so you can be pressing ok after that and you will be having your effect change it and same as well for fill color if you scroll and you click on that little arrow in here you're gonna be seeing a scribble and you can be editing that one anytime or hide it if you don't like it and you can clear appearance anytime from here and you will be having your shape with non fill and non stroke only a path that you can readjust later anytime i'm gonna undo that and now let's say that you like that style and you're gonna be reusing that later on other objects you can be going to graphic style panel in here underneath appearance or even from here i'm gonna open it from that way and you're gonna be seeing all these preset styles or even you can be adding your own style by clicking on that button new graphic style and you will be having that one added to your and you will be having that one added to your graphic style panel in here so if you start drawing maybe another square like this one and then you're going to be clicking in here it will be transformed to that shape or even you can be choosing or even you can be choosing from any of these presets maybe that one to have that effect in here and if you're not seeing all these effects you can be opening your graphic style libraries from here and you'll be seeing 3d effects and artistic effects and all these nice effects in here maybe you can be choosing neon effects and let's select that one and once you try any of these effects it will be added to your panel in here and we can be loading another preset from here having the scribble effects we can be choosing maybe a style like that one and as you can see we've got that one in our panel in here as well if we want to delete that one anytime you can be clicking on that recycle bin button and then press yes and it will be deleted and you can be choosing from any of these presets and they can be very helpful for you guys to change your design elements appearance in a very easy way or even reuse your created graphic style and apply it on multiple design elements within your artboard so here is for instance we've got textures we can be changing that one to bricks like this or even a shape like this one or even that one and now let's say we've got that one chosen we can be editing even that one from our appearance panel we're gonna be closing that one back to our appearance and you're gonna be seeing that our shape is containing stroke and fill with these colors and even three effects in here stained glass and young glow and feather and you can start editing that graphic style from your appearance panel and save it as a new graphic style if you would like that maybe you can be hiding that neon glow in here or even further or even you can be clicking alt key in here and start duplicating that effect maybe on your stroke in here I'm gonna be having a different effect like that one and so on so that's it for this lesson hope that was an easy one for you guys we're gonna be practicing more on that even in more lessons to come and thank you so much for your time